In this video, we're gonna just kind of go over the basics of vector masks. Um, I'm not gonna go into too much details with them because um, in some of my other videos, I show how you can use them to change eye color or change the color of shirts. Um, but in this one, we're basically gonna take this image that we have right here um, and then we're gonna do this with it. Um, so we're just gonna isolate the one orange from the rest of the pack. Okay, so just to start it off, I'm just gonna open up the original image and I just wanna convert it to a layer. I just like working with layers better than having a background. And one of the simplest ways to actually just er to isolate this one, it would just be just to erase everything else, um, which is really a destructive way uh, to get the results you want. Uh, when you are doing graphic design, a lot of uh, what you're hoping to do is to preserve the actual images, and we just want to use masks um, to keep the images what they are, uh, but hide certain aspects of them. So we're going to mask out all this area right here, and then we're just going to keep the forefront orange um, visible. So again, I just want to convert this back to a layer. And the first thing I'm going to do is come over to the shape shape tool. Um, here, you know, if you create a shape, you're going to get a fill. So we want to make sure that if we're on shape, we want to convert it or not convert, but just select path. So when you're using paths, this is where you're able to create vector images, uh, where you're able to make vector masks. So make sure we're on the ellipse, we're on path. Uh, we can hold down shift just so we get a very circular shape. And then we are going to go and grab the path selection tool and bring that over just kind of right in the middle of the orange. Now if we go back and select the path or the circular path shape tool again, we can just hit mask up here and you see that now everything else just disappeared. I'm going to add just a new layer and I, what I want is just to make sure that I can just kind of see what's going on so I'm just going to pick a color. Um, sometimes if you're using a bright color it helps to contrast the image you're doing. Uh, so let's use this pinkish purple color. Now you see that we have masked it out, but it really doesn't look that good yet. So we're gonna go back up and select the mask tool. And then here, when we're grabbing the selection tool, instead of the path selection tool, we want the direct selection tool. Now when we click on it, we actually see the anchors appear and we're able to move them around to change what's being vector masked. You may get um, this warning saying this operation will turn a live shape into a regular path. Do you want to continue? You just want to say yes, because now it's no longer a circle. Um, it is just a path that we get to manipulate. So we can play around with this a bit, pull it in here. We really want to get rid of the other, other oranges that were in the background. And we can just keep playing around with this until it looks just about right. And something like this can take minutes, it can take you know hours depending on how intricate the shape is or what you what you're really hoping to accomplish with it. But if we just want something basic, pull this in, make sure that we don't see any more white. And I am actually quite happy with that. Um, I know it's not 100 percent perfect, but I don't want this video to be you know, dozens of minutes long uh, when we got the basic idea of vector masks here. Add some text, say oranges are fun. We can do that right along the path. If you're unfamiliar with how to type along a shape, you can definitely check out one of my other videos. Um, I'm just gonna throw the link right where this box is here. So you can click on that and go check that one out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found it helpful, feel free to comment, subscribe, like, 
um, share it with whoever you'd like. Um, I know this was a very basic and quick little tutorial, um, but I know that if you check out some of my other videos, you can see how we can use these vector masks to really do some pretty cool things with them. Um, it is really one of the basics um, and foundational tools that you should really learn uh, prior to jumping into some other um, tutorials. Okay, thanks again and hope you have a great day.